Hello everybody and welcome to Politics Racks. We're here outside of the Home Office where Extinction Rebellion are protesting and we're here to interview people and ask them why they're here. Uh, thank you so much, first of all. Uh, can you start by giving your name? So I'm Dr. Christian Wyatt and I'm a biologist uh, at the University of Oxford in the biology department. My area is pheromones and animal behaviour. And I'm here because I'm really concerned about climate change and also biodiversity loss. So lots of the animals that I write about are disappearing. Mm. That's really serious. In my lifetime as a scientist, we've seen huge changes in biodiversity, and it's all for the worse. So what we need to do is change course, and that's why I'm here. Thank you. Ooh. Uh, play your name, first of all. Yeah, my name is Telios. And um, why have you come out here today? Yeah, my name is Telios. I'm from the Good Solidarity Network in the UK, in London. And we're here to support people's organizations and uh, demonstrations uh, to fight for another future, different future for, uh, for people around the world, uh, against climate crisis, against uh, deportations, deportation flights in Rwanda. We're here to, uh, you know, unite our uh, voices uh, to the voices of the people who are vulnerable uh, across the world. And... They suffer from uh, climate crisis and from anti anti environmental policies, yeah. mainly uh, imposed by you know global north organizations to the global south. Uh, yeah, thanks. Cool. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Uh, first of all, for giving your time. Can you just give your name, please? Yeah. Hi, Felix. I'm Zoe. Uh, and why are you out here today? Why have you come out? And why is it so important that people come out here? Right. Well, I, I'm specifically stewarding today, as you can see my nice steward thing on. But um, so I have been helping with the march. There's thousands of people marching towards the Home Office um, to express our indignation and disgust at the government's racist and oppressive uh, migration bill. Um, so that's specifically what people are doing right now, but this is part of the four-day um, uh, inclusive, welcoming, open protest called the Big One. Um, facilitated by Extinction Rebellion, but actually 200 organisations are part of this. Really, really broad, from Greenpeace, Friends of the Earth, to CND, to faith organisations, families, scientists, doctors, churches, you name it. Unions, trade unions, new, everyone. Um, lots and lots of people here. And this is day three, yeah, I'm trying to remember. It's been, uh, <laughs> yesterday was incredible, there was 90,000 people marching around, all around um, the parliament, basically, we basically surrounded parliament, um, all demanding the same two things. And that is an immediate end to, fossil, to new fossil fuel licensing, to, to really start to transition to a new, uh, a new world away from fossil fuels. And the second demand is that we do that through in emergency citizens' assemblies so that we ensure a safe and fair transition out of this situation into a better world. Cool. Perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, can you just give your name, first of all? My name is Sophie. Um, why have you come out here today? Uh, because we've got four days of action on climate in central London. Because, the, as you may notice behind me, the House of the Parliament, and they are in, working backwards on climate issues. And I have children, I have a grandchild, and it's absolutely appalling that we have one of the governments that's playing the least in terms of climate change and how desperately important it is to be radical and to act now and to really move forward. And the least I can do is to be here and how uh, deeply upsetting it is that we have um, a, both the square mile of businesses in London and we have politicians who are just not moving. And I feel deeply that we're really letting down the next generation, so you guys, so I'm really happy to talk to you. Cool, thank you. Uh, can I start by asking your name? My name's Alan, and why have you come out here today? Well, I'm a, a scientist for Extinction Rebellion, so I'm uh, here for two reasons. I'm here to uh, tell the government that they need to be doing uh, two, lots of things to improve our climate. First one be to stop licensing and supporting new fossil fuels, and uh, to uh, establish uh, citizens' assemblies. This would be a, a different system where we could uh, get change without uh, the, the foibles and the problems of the politicians get lobbied by industry, etc., and have their biases. And the other reason, as a scientist, is to communicate uh, the climate crisis to uh, people in, who'd like to know more about it. Perfect, thanks. Oh, can I start just asking your name? Uh, Jenna. Um, and why have you come out here today? 
I've come here today because I'm a scientist. I've spent the last 10 years of my career studying biodiversity and climate change. And I feel like we are constantly showing the government and we're showing the big corporations the, the problems related to climate change and biodiversity, the destruction that we're causing, and we're not being listened to. Um, so I'm here today to be listened to in another way. Perfect. Uh, can you first just start by giving your name? Yeah, my name is Will Stableforth. Um, and why have you come out here today? I've come out here because uh, I'm in healthcare, I'm a doctor from Cornwall. Um, health is a really key part of climate. You know, in the end, the planet will be okay. In the end, you know, okay, it'll be hundreds of thousands of years, but it'll be okay. Humans, not so much. You know, we are in a really, really serious situation. Healthcare people, healthcare professionals have got a key part to play in saying loud and clear, this is a healthcare crisis. That can galvanise people into action. I think it's really important that we get together with other healthcare people to make sure we speak with a united voice and speak really, really clearly. And this weekend has been about getting together and talking and planning. So that's why I'm here. Perfect. Cool. Uh, can I just stop asking your name? Uh, my name's Ashley. I'm the global co lead for ARC for Stop Ecocide International. Uh, can I ask why you've come out here today? So I have a passion for helping change the world and uh, Stop Ecocide International are potentially going to make the biggest change in human living history. We are trying to make ecocide the fifth international crime on the Rome Statue, which is uh, where 123 countries are signatures, and we need 85 countries as a two-third majority to add a law. Currently, the laws, the four crimes, are all about people and violence. There's not a single international crime that actually protects the earth. And once we get 85 countries signed up, the International Criminal Court will then enforce ecocide as a international crime. Perfect, thank you. Great, can I just get your name first of all? Yeah, I'm Evan. Um, and why have you come out here today? So I'm here with Just Stop Oil, demanding the government end all new fossil fuel licenses. And we're here today recruiting people to come on slow marches with us every single day for, well, indefinitely until the government meets this demand. I just want to ask, a lot of people have criticised Just Stop Oil uh, and, and their actions. How would you kind of respond to the criticism that this is a public nuisance and it's, it's disrupting people's lives? Unfortunately, we know from history that disruption creates social change. Um, we've seen it over and over again and this weekend thousands of people have signed up to join us. Um, and given the, the scale and severity of the crisis we're in, we have to do whatever in our violence we take because the government aren't doing it they're not listening and this weekend is incredible but what we have to do is continue the pressure continue creating disruption um, and that that sustain that attrition will, will hopefully drive the change perfect